Hello everyone, B.O.B. here and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. So just in time for my 500 sub milestone, I get a request to do a quintuple <laughs> piston extender. Which, uh, you know, originally I was thinking was going to be this big bulky build and I thought, well, you know what? Why not do it the cheap way? And so, this is this is the cheap way. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do this. And um, it's, it's pretty flexible in the design. It, it doesn't have to be like five pistons you could do this with four uh, I think you could go as high as six much more beyond that you're hitting your piston push limits so I, I, I mean that's about as far as you're gonna get I mean you know, you could modify it and maybe reach further than that but for now the request for, was for the quintuple the quintuple is what we're gonna do in this tutorial now the requester did specify that they wanted the, all the redstone to be above the pistons which I managed to do using this cheater method. Uh, but, uh, you know, in, in the event that you didn't want it like that, I mean, it could be built in multiple ways. This is the the reverse of, of the actual design here, and it still works just fine, as you can see. And, uh, well, this is actually a good way to demonstrate how it works. You can see the pistons are all just timed out a, a little bit further apart. You want the last piston to retract to be the one clear in the back and then all the other pistons are being moved into the power uh, so whenever you shut it off they all retract in sequence the way they should it, it's such an easy way to do it when you got a piston extender this size I mean to do a, a quintuple piston extender traditionally while not impossible it, it would get a lot more complicated than all this the materials required for this build are very few, as you can see in this chest right here. You're going to need, of course, your five sticky pistons. We'll use five, five slime blocks, but you could replace these with honey blocks as well. It's going to take about ten redstone dust, ten repeaters. I'm using one lever to power this thing, but realistically, you can power it however you want. You know, just send in a redstone signal via whatever means you choose. And then for the model with the redstone above the pistons, as I'm going to show you here, we're going to need about 20 glazed terracotta. Of course, if you were building it in the reverse with all the redstone below the pistons, you wouldn't need this many. Actually, five would do. Now the area required for this build is going to be 6 wide by about 5 long, and the whole thing is about 3 blocks tall, including the redstone. Um, and keep in mind, we're, we're using slime blocks here, and so you'll want to keep all other blocks that aren't like a glazed terracotta or obsidian kind of far away. You could put leaf blocks close to them, but you can't really like uh, put redstone on the, the leaf blocks or anything, so uh, I mean... you for the top structure is going to be glazed terracotta or obsidian um but let's get started here by first putting in some temporary blocks i'm going to start in this back left hand corner and just kind of pillar up a few blocks up off the ground and put in my first piston now we want this piston to be the first in a line of five pistons all lined up side to side so let's go two three four five then right on the face of these five pistons, you're going to want to put your slime blocks. Uh, and you just put one block on each piston. Like I said, you could use honey for this as well. You don't necessarily have to use slime. But next step is we're going to build our structure on top where we're going to be placing our redstone. And, and this is basically going to be, well, start off with we're going to do a triangle about five blocks wide. So we'll put one piece of glazed terracotta on top of each of these pistons. So that's five blocks. And then another row of four blocks right in front of that. Then a row of three, a row of two, a row of one. And then along this right hand side, you just want another full row of five blocks right here. So now we just need to start throwing down the redstone. I'm going to start with my power source, which is going to be a lever on this block right here. And again, you don't necessarily have to power this with a lever. You could just send in that redstone signal however you like. Um, but we need to then start putting in some dust. So we want just one dash of dust on this block right here next to the lever. And then a line of dust all the way to the back of the structure on these four blocks here. We'll start throwing down some repeaters, and this is a real simple pattern. You just add another repeater every time you get a, another row back. So this first row right here, we're going to just want one repeater. Now all these repeaters that you put on top of this thing, you're going to want to set those to three ticks. So go ahead and put the repeater down, 
click it twice. Uh, this doesn't necessarily have to be set up like this for it to work, but due to the inconsistent piston timings on Bedrock, it, well, this is going to ensure that it's more reliable that they're timed out the, this way. Um, but now, next row, you want two repeaters. Uh, three ticks. Next row, three repeaters. I'll set two, three ticks. Last row, you guessed it, four repeaters. All set to three ticks. Oops, click that one an extra time. <laughs> and the last step, just one dash of redstone dust at the end of each one of these repeater lines. That's it. That's it. Super simple, quick, easy to build. I, I mean, you can, <laughs> as you can see, we, you can throw these things together in a couple of minutes. Not very hard to do. Now there's downsides to this model. I mean, obviously it's six blocks wide, and it's involving sticky blocks, or yeah, anything involving like slime or honey, you can't put up against any other blocks or else they'll stick to those blocks, unless of course it's the glazed terracotta or the obsidian. They can slide right past leaf blocks, and, and but you can't exactly power them like that. So, um, well, you can't power them by putting the redstone on top of the leaf blocks, and but, um, but yeah, I mean, so the, so there's downsides. Uh, another possible downside is that you can only really attach up to three blocks to this thing before it it, it reaches its limit. So it's like I could put one here. I could bring it down further. So if I wanted to slide a block across the roof, this would be a perfect example of how to do that. And I can add up to three, and this will still work. But one more, one more, and we're at our limit. It's n it's not going to extend there anymore. So, so yeah, it's not exactly universal. It's not necessarily going to fit into every situation where you might need a quintuple piston extender. Of course, how many situations do you need a quintuple piston extender? <laughs> um, but I mean, it functions. It functions. So if if you know you're looking for a cheap, easy way to do it, here you go. And my friends, that completes today's tutorial. As you can see, it is a very cheap and easy build. You can throw these together in, well, just a few seconds, really. Um, of course, uh, you know, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. And if you're interested in seeing more from me, consider subscribing as well. I want to invite everybody to come join the B.O.B. Gaming Discord server, or you could follow me on Twitter for video updates. I I'll post those in the description down below. And as always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching and wish you all a wonderful day.